pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Simpson? Yes. Commissioner Georgiani? Here. Commissioner Obando? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Okay. Reading, uh, notice of the meeting is given in the following manner. Notice of meeting was transmitted to the Home News Tribune. Said notice of meeting and a copy of the agenda were filed with the Office of City Clerk on March 18th. And said notice of the meeting and a copy of the agenda were prominently posted on the announcement board in the lobby of City Hall at least 48 hours prior to the conveying of this meeting. We'll go to uh, approval of the November and December minutes. Make your motion accept. Second. Okay. I'm sorry, so Commissioner Obama seconded? Yeah. Thank you. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner I, Simpson? Uh, yes. Can I abstain? I was in attend that meeting. Oh, the December. December. <clears throat> the November 18th No, no, the, uh, yeah, the November 18th meeting. <clears throat> so, motion accepted. Second. 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 Commissioner Jordi, you're, you're okay. granting the extension? Yes. Yeah, chair? Yes. Commissioner Ravondo? Yes. Commissioner Walby? Yes. Okay. December. Motion. Make a motion to accept. <coughs> Second. Go. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Simpson? Yes. Commissioner Georgiani? Yes. Commissioner Ravondo? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Okay. I will go to resolution. Resolution number uh, seven is a resolution authorizing and approving the payment of bills for the month of February 2016. Motion. To move. I'll second. Vote. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Simpson? Yes. Commissioner Georgiani? Yes. Commissioner Ovando? Yes. Commissioner Walby? Yes. Continue. Yeah. A resolution number eight is a resolution accepting annual audit report for FYE 63015 and ratifying and approving the audit submission. Motion. Make a motion. Second. We want to, excuse me, a point of, uh, of uh, information. We, we discussed this at the last meeting, right? Yeah. And we went through that. Co uh, yeah. Correct. You discussed it at the last meeting, right. and then copies were given to the board right. 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 to review. Oh, so, right. yes. Yes, I second that. You want to go over it? Yes. Um, straightforward. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Simpson? Yes. Commissioner Georgiani? Yes. Commissioner Ovando? Yes. Commissioner Waldy? Yes. Resolution 5-0. Resolution number 9 is a resolution approving an interagency agreement with the Franklin Township Housing Authority. Motion. So moved. Second. Uh, point of information on that, uh, Chair. Uh, John, can you just go over that just a minute? Sure, as you know, we've had a long-standing relationship uh, through an interlocal agreement with the Franklin right. Township Housing Authority. Uh, that agreement um, is being proposed as a $70,000 contract for us this year, the okay. same as last year, um, to include staffing and management um, when needed, as well as an acting director service uh, to help them uh, manage their operations and programs. So um, the Franklin Housing Authority passed the, the resolution at the last meeting. Um, and we're proposing that it be passed by the board at this meeting. That's what the, okay, I see. And then we've been doing this for maybe I believe this is the eighth or ninth year um, yeah. at different levels. Uh, this is the second year in this capacity. This is a one-year agreement? Correct. These are all one-year okay. contracts. Any other comments? Was the motion second? Yes, you have it. Any other comments? No? Okay. Roll call. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Simpson? Yes. Commissioner Georgiani? Uh, yes. Commissioner Ovando? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. That's all I have. Yeah. No more business. No. no. Any public comment? Good evening, uh, members of the board. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to speak to you today. My name is Charles Cradville. I'm the editor of New Brunswick Today, a community newspaper here, and I am going to be recording. Uh, my remarks and, and your responses today. Um, I guess I, I had some questions about the resolution you just passed, the interlocal agreement with Franklin. 
Can you tell me, um, was the agreement reviewed by the board's attorney? Yes. It was, okay. And can you tell me uh, who represents the Franklin Housing Authority? The, the point of order, Mr. Chairman, my firm's conflicted out because we were recently retained as counsel to the Franklin Township Housing Authority. Next comment. What does that mean for someone to be conflicted out? I'm unable to review the agreement for either agency because I was recently, my firm was recently selected to serve as general counsel to the Franklin Township Housing Authority. So I've not reviewed the agreement for either New Brunswick Housing Authority or for the Franklin Township Housing Authority. Mr. Clark has handled this matter. Okay, and is Mr. Clark an attorney? Next woman, that's your comment. Just ask, is Mr. Clark an attorney? I don't, I don't know. No, he's not. He's not, okay, so an attorney has not reviewed the interlocal agreement between. We have this agreement for the last eight years, so. But the agreement changed within the past two years. It's a different agreement now, is what I heard. You have another comment? Yes, I'd, I'd like to express a concern that the housing authority might be stretched too thin. Um, you, you know, this board repeatedly says that the, you know you're getting funding cuts and you're you're not um, able to keep up with. Uh, basic responsibilities like uh, uh, providing records to uh, you know, a person like myself who's, who's requested records. Um, why does the authority then try to take on other tasks at other authorities if you're unable to keep up with your own? I've taken your comments, another comment? Sure, sure, so I, I am concerned about that and I, I'm concerned with the uh, um, sort of the, the board's um, resistance to, to questions and resistance to uh, you know, addressing concerns. There were a number of concerns I raised at the last meeting, uh, specifically regarding the information I provided Mr. Clark on the first of the month, uh, last month, February. Um, I, I, I wanna know, um, our board members, do you have certifi certification to be on the board? You have to pass a class, correct? Another comment? Is that, is that, do you, do you have to take a, is there a requirement, certification requirement to serve on this board? Yes. There is? Yeah. Okay. And uh, can you please tell me if uh, the two newest board members have met that requirement? We can talk to John. We can get that information from John. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. No. You can, oh. okay. I can, I can address that? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, yes, board members are required to take classes. And um, I believe that um, the two new board members are in the process of taking those classes. They have 18 months to complete that task. Thank you for the, for the accurate information. Can I uh, also hear about uh, the board member who's not here tonight, Mr. Cupano? When was the last time he was present for a board meeting? Okay, additional comment? This is not a question and answer. You just give your comment and we'll take it into consideration. That's it. Wow, okay. okay. Well, then I'd like to express a concern. Then. Okay. You know, sometimes people give me answers and, and then I say, oh, that's, that's no big deal. I, I don't know what I was worried about. This but when people period. don't want to answer questions, then it throws up a red flag for me, so I've got to express a concern now. Because and my concern is saying, what is that this board is supposed to have a member appointed by uh, the state. Right, a, a person for, uh, yeah. appointed through DCA, mm -hmm. right? This is the same agency that, that you, your day job is at. No, no, I, I'm not working for DCA, so. Oh, okay, DCA is not affiliated with HMFA? Affiliation, I don't work for oh. DCA. Okay, so. Can we, <laughs> forgive me. Okay, you have additional comment? Yes, yeah, so, okay. so my concern is that no one has been here in all the time I've been coming to these meetings. Uh, I, I have not seen Mr. Cupano here once. And uh, it's my understanding that, uh, you know, after three times, there's supposed to be some type of, uh, you know, reaction to a board member's absence. And I'm concerned deeply that there's no person serving that function. Um, so I, I, I don't know, is there, is, does anyone know, is he okay? Is he still interested in serving? Is there a reason he's not here or he's never here? I can't answer, is this, you, you give me your comments and we you. Did, did he notify you he wasn't going to be here today as he's supposed to under the bylaws? Did he notify the, the agency? Has he been notifying the agency? Okay. So, on February 1st, 
I provided information to the executive director uh, outside of this meeting, and I gave the agency ample time to respond to the information I'd given. Um, I did get some progress in, in that by February 4th, I had been notified that uh, Mr. Clark directed the AMP1 staff and management to not issue any more improper fines until further notice. And I believe at the uh, last meeting, I, you, you, you mentioned it was under investigation. Can you please tell me, is it still under investigation? What, what is under investigation? The parking fines that were $50 you have to on follow public up roads. You have to follow up with the office. Sure. So is the board aware? Is the investigation still going on or is it over? You can talk to Okay. Yeah, uh, the review for the improper parking uh, is ongoing. Uh, the AMP1 manager has issued um, some adjustments already and will continue to issue adjustments as, they, as we complete the investigation, but it's ongoing and it's improper parking, not improper fines. So it's improper parking fines for parking. Uh, I believe you said improper fines, uh, but it's, um, so that is ongoing and um, we should have that completed probably in the next week or so, and we'll report, make a full report to the board. Okay, so can sure you make your last comment? Great, thank you. So the, uh, it's still, the, the tickets are no longer being issued presently. They're not, there's a, a moratorium on it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I just want to be kind of direct your question. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thank sorry. You. Um, and so regarding my open request, the, uh, supposedly at the last meeting, February 11th uh, uh, was the most recent response indicated the remainder of the responses would be coming to me uh, by the end of the month. Uh, the attorney who's different than the man who's here today but works at the same firm said that's what we're anticipating as in providing these records that I've requested by the end of the month. Um, that has not happened. I have received no further communication after that meeting from your counsel who also represents Franklin Housing Authority. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm concerned. Uh, in fact, I'm concerned about remarks made by board members uh, who, who, who just got here saying that, that I'm doing a disservice to the public by asking for public records. And I think that uh, it is not I who is doing the disservice. Um, it is this board uh, in terms of uh, stopping the transparency cold and breaking the law to do it. Your last comment, sir? Can, can, can I get an answer? When am I going to get Mr. the records? Mr. Chairman, this is a matter of litigation. Mr. Crowds will file an action against the New Brunswick Housing Authority, which will be heard in Superior Court on April 24th. So now that Mr. Crabtill tells put the matter into litigation, we can't discuss it in open session. Last comment, please. Hey, you had your chance. So April 24th, I'll see you in court. <laughs> and, and listen, like, there's nothing stopping you from providing the records. What you are doing is you are fleecing the people who fund this agency by spending the money on lawyers to fight against someone who's just simply asked for records that are public. Okay, uh, I give you, and your, your comment period is up. Uh, have a, can I have a motion? Who's, who's been keeping the time? Tell me. I have. I have. It's been eight minutes. Okay, so you guys work for eight minutes every month? That's your job? Can I have a motion to go to a closed session? So I'm That's not on the agenda. I'd like to make a comment. I, yeah, there's other people who've not, the floor has not been open to other people. Okay, can you make your comment? Sir, I, I, you turn it up. Okay, this is disgraceful. Stop wasting the money. I'm a resident of Melissa County. Okay. Um, I just want to make the comment that, um, you know, where should questions be addressed? Should they be addressed to the office? Yeah, to the office. Because yeah. yeah. I, Mr. Chair, I'm sorry, I didn't get your last name. I'm sorry. Knox, DOCS. DOCS, okay, thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, so any questions related to the housing authority should be addressed to the office, to the executive director. But how would, the, how would a person reach the board as a whole if I go to the office? You know, they might not even send a question to you. How do I know? Have you made your request to the office? No, but... Make your request. From my experience, like from New Brunswick today, I mean, does it really require a lawsuit to answer someone's question? Sir, do you have a request for Mr. Clark? No. If you wish to, the chair just instructed you to submit it. Don't presume we're not going to comply. Make your request. I just think that's un unprofessional of the board to do. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comment? 
Motion to adjourn, please. I mean, motion to go to a closed session. What, for what reason? Point of information that's public? Well, I'm sorry, before you do that, I'm sorry, somebody made, a, somebody made a motion prior to that. Mm -hmm. I believe it was Commissioner Caldwell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that correct, yeah, Commissioner? Yeah. I just want to make sure I have to pay. I'm sorry. And go ahead. I'm sorry, is there a motion pending? There's a motion pending right now. Make a motion. No, you, point of information. What's the reason for the closed session? Under the law, you have to say so. Mr. Please Pratt, ask your so please ask your attorney to check the law. Let the court the procedure. Let so let's finish the procedure, and you'll have your question. Let, let the board you. function. Question. Sir, okay. You're not letting the board function. There's yeah. no notice on here that's going to be a closed meeting. We are There's making notice right now. The chairman is proposing a resolution to enter into closed session. To discuss what? Let the motion proceed. You can't interrupt the board's procedures, sir. I like can't interrupt the board here procedures. Come back in. You're being disorderly. Is there a motion pending before the board? I, be, I believe you have a motion from Commissioner Caldwell and a second from Commissioner Orlando, I believe. Is that correct? I want to make sure. Thank you. And the motion is to don't interrupt the mayor's office. You're, you're being disorderly. Let the board function. I'm being function. disorderly because you're kicking function. people out of a public meeting. Okay. Then we, we're not is there? We haven't even voted. We, 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 we haven't even voted on anything. For the record, let's be clear. You've now interrupted the board several times before they've even been able to put the motion forward. So there is a motion pending to go into closed session. Is that correct? Yeah. And we need a vote. Look, I'll make a motion to go into closed so, session, please. You're going to be discussing personnel matters then? Will you please wait? Will you let, so us, let us finish, finish what we have to do no, here. You're kicking us out of a public meeting. Where are you going to say you're not a public meeting? Excuse me, excuse me. I don't want to get into this. But Where does it say no you're not a public meeting? No one is kicking you out of a public meeting. It's a closed meeting. For what purpose? For what purpose? There's a vote pending. Just because you're pissed off, someone asked a question. There's a vote pending. Yeah, you're upset that he asked you a question. Let's call a vote. The public can't ask you a question. Okay. Um, there is a vote pending before the board to enter into closed session. Is there a vote? Well, and all this yeah. is on videotape. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Simpson? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Caldwell? Yes. Commissioner Giorgiani? Yes. Commissioner Orlando? Yes. Wait, Mr. Cha wait. Mr. Chair? Yes. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait till the vote is called. <clears throat> uh, motion passed 5 0. Uh, a motion has been passed to enter into closed session. For the record, it is to discuss attorney, client, and personnel matters. Well, for the record, I'm going to, I'm going to file a complaint with the State Housing Authority and the Federal Housing Authority. Thank you very much. I have a motion to open the meeting. So, so second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Commissioner Jones moved. Yeah. I'm second. Second. Roll call. Right. Roll call. Commissioner Jones. Yeah. Commissioner Simpson. Yes. Commissioner Caldwell. Yes. Commissioner Georgiani. Yes. Commissioner Ovando. Yes. And Commissioner Wall. We are back in session. The board is back in open session. The board had adjourned to closed session to discuss attorney-client privilege and personnel matters. The substance of the discussions will be disclosed to the public when the rights of the parties are no longer an issue and the legal matters affecting the housing authority are no longer an issue. Can I have a motion to adjourn? Second. Roll call. Right. Yes. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Simpson? Yes. Commissioner Caldwell? Yes. Commissioner Giorgiani? Yes. Commissioner Vondo? Yes. Commissioner Chair? Yes. Motion passes 5-0. Meeting's over.